spin. Eric Spolster says heat assistants deserve heat assistants deserve consideration for NBA coaching vacancies. Eric Spolster is the type of guy to bring up his pals um, out of their holes. Uh, I was a while ago. I was saying that I feel like someone's going to steal Chris Quinn from us, and the report came out according to Greg Slivender and Five on the Floor Five Reasons Sports podcast. Two Miami Heat assistants are finalists for the Indiana Pacers head coaching gob. Dan Craig. Which I think that's the Sui Falls, the yeah. the G League, our G League uh, team coach, and Chris Quinn. They're gonna steal him. I feel like I feel pretty good about it because I think Chris yeah. Quinn is Chris Quinn is. Whenever you look at the Heat on a timeout, he's right there next Question, to Question: How long has Chris Quinn been an assistant coach? It feels like it's been yeah fifteen years. I don't know about fifteen years, but yeah, he's been he's been in the <laughs> definitely decades, dude. Nah, decades. Nah, but- it feels like he's been there forever. I don't know. He has, sure and I feel like he's a huge part of our player development program. Yeah, you're right. Like I always see him. Like always. The first person Duncan Robinson talks to when he gets when he gets benched after three dumb fouls is Chris. Of Quinn. course, a spot up it's shooter. The first person he talks to. Of course. Every single time, and I'm like, bro, this guy's important. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it's the first person he apologizes to. You know, because of course Eric Spolster's, he yo Eric Spolster's crazy. Yeah, he be yelling at fucking he Duncan. Yells. Really? He be, he be telling Duncan to fucking shoot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a damn. I, I was gonna bring it up later, but I guess since we're talking about it, he said, "Yeah, from HeatNation.com, Eric Spolster had to yell at Duncan Robinson to shoot the fucking ball <laughs> in Game Two against the Lakers." So yeah, he was out there. I feel like I don't see Eric Spolster yell a lot. No, like at does. least on TV. Really, it's crazy. It's, yeah, it's, it's in the timeouts where he be going ham. So yeah, be I've been meaning him. to mention this for a while. The him secret, the secret advantage to being a home team is that you get to pick which basket to play on first. So oh, theoretically, you pick on the on the you pick to play the side either offense or defense you're worse at in the fourth quarter because you switch at halftime. So Eric Spolster always picks defense. He picks to be in front of his team when they're on defense in the fourth quarter. So he's out there yelling for Ooh. for switches and defensive okay. like lineups yeah, yeah. and like yo go over there he's open Dude. blah 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 he's there yelling he's the whole time because it's it's a secret advantage to being a home team you get to choose so okay. in the first quarter you always see Eric Spolstra is in front of our basket in the first and second quarter he's in front of our basket like sorry he's in front of the other team's basket while they're shooting so the team's playing offense in front of him for the first half. In the second half, when we switch baskets, the team's playing defense on the on in front of him. So he's out there yelling, which is probably a reason why the Heat are known to always build up leads and lose them. I they never secretly, knew that. They secretly have a sixth voice. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. That. They right. secretly have a sixth voice when he's uh, when he's out there calling off the, the, the offense. I never knew that. Yeah. yeah That's a, the secret uh, advantage. Secret That's sauce. why 51% of home, game, home teams win. You just exposed. Uh, yeah, hopefully the Lakers <laughs> are listening to this. Uh,